students will talk about planning selection rule today. Uh, Fleming's left hand rule, you take your left hand and these first three fingers to keep which are perpendicular to each other, like this. Then the first finger, this is the second finger and this is the thumb. The first finger to, must be in the direction of magnetic field, the second or the middle finger in the direction of current. Then this thumb will be the direction of motion of the conductor or the direction along which the force will act. That means uh, if I know the direction of magnetic field and current, then the force also can be found on the conductor. That means this uh, diagram, if you want to draw, this diagram, they are perpendicular. This is uh, the thumb. This is the index finger and this is the middle finger. I call this as the first finger. This I call the second finger. This is the thumb. The <coughs> first gives first field, second current, the third is the direction of motion of the conductor or force. The first finger must be in the direction of field. The second finger must be in the direction of the current. Third finger or the thumb will give you the direction of the force in which the conductor will move. So this is known as Fleming's left hand rule. If I apply this rule to a conductor like this, suppose the magnetic field is into the current is from left to right, so then in what direction the force will act? According to, so we know that the force formula is I L cross B. If I talk about the, if I don't use also Fleming's left hand rule, I can also find out the direction in which the, this conductor will move. So I L is in this direction, B is into this way, force will act. Q I L B, I L this one B. So this direction towards you. In this direction, this conductor will move. So this conductor will move in this direction. So the direction of the con conductor this way to move. This is the direction in the force will act or the motion of the conductor. If I don't use this uh, right hand. Uh, right hand rule, whether it is the right hand uh, screw rule or right hand uh, palm rule, whatever you say. If I use planning's left hand rule, let us see what is the direction of the force. I will, uh, first I will have these three fingers necessarily perpendicular positions. Okay, the first finger must be in the direction of field. So the field is into downward, so it is like this, first field. First field. Second is this one, middle finger in the direction of current. Current is in this direction. You can see here. This direction. First field, second current. Third is this thumb is the direction of motion. So conductor will move in this way. And right hand rule also this way. So this is just a rule. You can use, uh, I generally don't use this because it's uh, your tuition term like that. So I don't prefer this law, but it is there. You have to learn it. But then I always use right hand. Is the, but anyway, whatever you find uh, comfortable with, you can go for that. Okay, thank you.